It all started with rap legend Biggie and massive hits like Hypnotize. Condo paid for, uh -huh. no car payment. Uh -huh. Over three decades, rapper producer Sean Diddy Combs has become a hip hop mogul with countless hits. Don't push us, cause we're close to the edge. Global fame and a staggering fortune. I ain't gonna lie, it's like I'm living a dream. Back in 2022, Forbes estimated that his net worth was about a billion dollars. Fox Business Network host Taylor Riggs says that much of Diddy's money wasn't made from music. He has quite a portfolio of businesses. He can't be stopped now, cause it's bad boy for life. He made his first fortune with his Bad Boy Records label. At the height of that brand, that label was worth $100 million. Then he founded Sean John Clothing Line in 1998. At one point, it pulled in sales annually of $450 million back in 2016. With his growing empire came a private G5 jet, multiple homes, including the $40 million Holmby Hills house that was raided in LA and the $35 million property raided in Miami. Hey, yo, what's up, y'all? It's your boy Diddy, and New York loves extra. Diddy also owned a house in the Hamptons where he hosted his famous star-packed white parties, which he invited extra to way back in 2007. And let's just celebrate life. And that, that's why I throw the white party, to celebrate life. Diddy also gave a rare look inside of his Hamptons home before that white party. It's a very um, common um, decor and very simple. Um, probably a contrast to what people would think my, my house looks like. I probably think I would have gold and diamonds and bling bling all over the place. <laughs> Which did he could have with that big bank account and many business deals. Back in 2008, he earned $35 million with a partnership that he had with the vodka brand. He co-founded the TV network Revolt back in 2013. That was the point when his net worth skyrocketed to $580 million. Are you ready to take your lives to the next level? We were with him at his Revolt music conference in 2015, where Diddy told us that his business empire started with a paper route when he was a 12-year-old kid in Harlem. I just wanted to make some money so I could, you know, um, take some pressure off my mother. Now, Diddy is feeling extra pressure just months after he put out his first record in 13 years, the love album Off The Grid. Yo, sometimes you gotta go through the dark to manifest. Sometimes you gotta smile through the agony and the stress. It's something that just hits you like, boom, oh, it's time. It's time to put the cape back on. Facing multiple lawsuits and a massive sex trafficking investigation, Diddy's business empire could come crumbling down. 